Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to Drop the Mic. As you come in that door, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, everything that I say over here is alleged. It's in my opinion and it's for entertainment purposes only. All right, y'all, let's hop into it. Hey guys and welcome back to Drop the Mic. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of an update on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple things today. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the ratings. You guys, if you take a look at this screen now, you will see that these ratings for the opening season have not been good. Um, I don't understand why the ratings were so low but i'm gonna take a stab at trying to guess so let's just start off by going ahead and reading what tv deep said they said own love and marriage huntsville returned down in the ratings on saturday night according to just released numbers the love and marriage huntsville season six premiere earned a 0.06 and an all-important demo and 288,000 live viewers according to the Nielsen um, report almost half of the audience size of the season debut of season five um, season five was 495,000 and y'all gotta remember this is the number one show on own so that is not a good look for this show so they also went on to say while it's not yet clear whether the love and marriage huntsville season six premiere ratings are a fluke or if it'll become a trend you know we're just gonna kind of just sit back and watch these numbers are low um y'all okay so here's my guess just from kind of being in these love and marriage huntsville streets in the last year and a half some somewhere along that nature i've been as a youtuber right i've been in the streets since season one as as a you know viewer i absolutely love the show i've been watching it since season one episode one i'm gonna just take a step at it i actually think that it has a lot to do with fans being exasperated with what they consider fake storylines right the problem is with love and marriage huntsville and any other reality show is that the world wide web or what we call social media is so real time it's real time so you can't really get a lot over on the audience if you are pushing storylines that are not at least 80 percent authentic so i think what's happening is you got you know your internet super sleuths out here that are debunking a lot of what's being said on the show so they're feeling like well look I watch this show because I like reality TV, which means if I'm watching reality TV, I like shows that I am being presented to as being real because anybody can just watch a, a scripted show, right? You watch a scripted show to kind of get away and just, you know, everybody has their reasons why they like scripted and unscripted shows. But when it comes to reality TV, you know, the thing about it is, is that you want it to be real. You want to see with it's almost like you got a a little microscope and you're able to see inside these people's worlds and you want what you're seeing to be authentic to be real because a lot of people compare like their lives to the lives of the reality tv stars even if it's just like in a financial sense you know oh wow you know they're doing this business and they're making great money off of it i wonder if that's something that i would be able to do i wonder if i could learn that so a lot of times people are like learning from it it's just it's it's many many reasons right so if you're thinking that you're looking at a show you like the show you enjoy the characters you enjoy the storylines what have you but then you like somebody whispers in your ear that's not real those people really aren't worth 17 million dollars 
that person really isn't worth $40 million. Um, it's just all a facade for the show. Then you start feeling some type of way. It's like, wait, what? So <clears throat> what am I watching? Is this scripted? Because if it's scripted, I can go watch a scripted show for that. I thought I was watching reality. I thought I was actually getting a real glimpse into the lives of these people that's on this show. So <clears throat> I think a lot of people dropped off for that reason, you guys. That's my opinion. Again, I just from the comments that I read and the things that I see. Now, the other reason that I think that people are kind of like on some other time with this show and they're like you know kind of on a hiatus saying they're not going to watch it is because we for three seasons straight it was like the entire cast was harassing and bullying um the main character and plus there was a little bit of harassment and bullying of her mom and people got really upset about that they wrote the tv station they're like listen we what is this what's happening why are these people so fixated on this one character why every time i turn this show on every scene they're mentioning this one girl this one girl cannot have that like what what is their fixation on this one young lady so i think what ended up happening is that people were like, yo, I can't watch this anymore. Like, it's it's weird. Like, it's the fixation is weird. And, you know, I just can't I can't get with it. OK, now you fast forward to, you know, this season where it was actually, you know, the rumor was and what these streets were saying was that we're not going to have any more of that that's not going to happen anymore we're not doing you know you know everybody is going to show their authentic selves their authentic lives and their authentic storyline we're not going to focus on you know this one young lady you know and of course her ex-husband as well it's like they carried the show people just was getting tired of that then the trailer drops and because and i forgot to mention that the harassment and the bullying was not coming for just the cast members it was coming from cast members mothers too so that part was just like what like why are these grown women like two and three times this young lady's age calling her names and 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 call you know trying to fight her and stuff this is weird okay then the trailer drops and the first thing we see is betty krueger who is Stormy's mom saying, well, I don't like her because I don't like her energy. As if we really give a shit if you like her or not. She's not in your age group. You'll never hang out with her. So why, why even voice that opinion? It seemed weird. Then after doing some, you know, people have already investigated to realize that this young, this lady was a fan and she's been like low key hating on this young lady via social media for like the last two or three years so then that I think people was just like no I'm not gonna watch another season of some woman two three times this lady's age talking mess about her being nasty and it's like weird like no one it just is not a dynamic that anyone wants to see then you think about her daughter she's grasping onto this I haven't heard from her in a few months thing that's weird it's like <laughs> that was the storyline for the other people that were destiny before she got kicked off tisha that's been her storyline for 20 years like well i haven't heard from her it's just weird you know she's not a good friend so no one like so once they saw that that still was kind of being snaked in there somehow honestly and this is my honest opinion i think people said okay I've given this show three years. I'm not watching it. I will check with the bloggers, the YouTubers, whoever, see how things are coming along. And if they say, listen, guys, come and watch it. It's really good. It's not what you think it is. Then I'll, I'll, I'll give it a view again. That's what I think happened, y'all. That's my honest opinion. So tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that... It's the two reasons that I gave 
the first reason being that people were just really sick and tired of the, you know, alleged and quote unquote harassment and bullying of this one character being Melody Cherie. And they just said, look, I'm not tuning into that anymore. Or do you think that it was the second thing that once the trailer came out and people saw that we had yet another mother with her weird ass going after the main character and yet another uh, daughter that's sitting up acting like they want some type of I don't know romantic relationship with Mel because they haven't talked to her in a few months and they just losing their shit because <clears throat> this girl took a hiatus from you know her co-workers and and her acquaintances like what do y'all think it is because legit the ratings are halved they are halved y'all so y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comments don't forget to hit that like button on your way out the door. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to share this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What's up with you?